All right, here's another update on the video card. I now have the font ROM working, which means I can actually generate a real picture. So once again, we've got the video card here and uh, got your horizontal timing, vertical timing, character generation bit. Here's the uh, font ROM here, which I've now installed into a ZIF socket. This is the frame buffer, which is a dual port RAM it's uh, 32K using the first 8K or so for uh, the color buffer and the, um, the character buffer. This over here is just a hacked together piece of machinery here to send data into the dual port RAM. I've got an MSP430 microcontroller, a set of shift registers here that just break out a bunch of pins, which go over to this uh, 40 pin connector, and then that takes it over to the memory. So if I uh, power everything up, what we'll end up seeing is um, get a picture and that all looks great. If I reset this microcontroller, we can actually run this from scratch and see what it actually did. So it actually wrote data, you know, color data, and then a bunch of characters and it's now stepping through each character, putting the uh, cursor bit enabled in the color data. So it just keeps stepping through the characters here, uh, turning the cursor on. Uh, if we start this thing from scratch, um, it's a little harder to do by hand, but I should be able to go here and I'm going to hold the reset button here on the MSP430, and power up, and what we'll see is just junk data in the uh, in the memory. And now if I actually run the MSP430, we see it clear all the junk data out of the RAM and then put regular data in there, rendering the font correctly. And then it starts just stepping through this process of moving the cursor around just to make sure that that's working. So there it is, it's all working.